Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Marie and today I would like to show you how to crochet this very beautiful Magnolia baby cardigan. This cardigan that I'm making today is a size 3 to 6 months. But you can find the written pattern for this size and for additional sizes up to 18 months on my website. So grab some yarn and a crochet hook and let's get started. For my cardigan, I'm going to use two and a half skeins of this yarn, Drops Baby Merino, in color 41. I will also need a three millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, and some scissors. You will also need six buttons that measure 15 millimeters in diameter. To begin, I'm going to make a slip knot. So I'm going to form a loop, take my working yarn behind the loop, and grab the working yarn with my crochet hook and pull tight. And then I'm going to chain 59 plus 1. So a total of 60 chains. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. So to start row one, I'm going to skip the first chain from the hook and into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a half double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And I will make a half double crochet into the next two chains. So one and two. So here I have three half double crochet. And into the next stitch, I'm going to make two half double crochet into the same stitch. So that's one and two into the same stitch. Then I'm going to make one half double crochet into the next three chains. One two and three. And again, two half double crochet into the next stitch. So I'm just going to continue this way all the way across the row, making an increase in every fourth stitch. So I will make one half double crochet into the next three stitches and I will make an increase into the fourth stitch. So that means I will be making two half double crochet into the same stitch. Here at the end of the row, when I only have three chains left, I'm going to make one half double crochet into the last three chains. And 
And to start the next round, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And for row two, I'm going to make a half double crochet here into the first stitch. So yarn over and insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then I will skip the next stitch and here into the third stitch, I'm going to make one half double crochet, two chains, one and two, and one more half double crochet into the same stitch. So what I just made here is a half double crochet V stitch. Then I'm going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and here into the third, I will again make a half double crochet V stitch. So yarn over and insert, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then two chains, one, and two, and one more half double crochet into the same stitch. And I will just repeat these last two steps all the way across the row. So yarn over, skip the next two stitches, and make a half double crochet V stitch. And here at the end of the row, I only have four stitches left. I'm going to skip the next two and make a half double crochet V stitch into the next stitch. And here into the very last stitch, I will make one half double crochet. So that's it for row two, and I should have a total of 24 half double crochet V stitches all the way across. So to start the next row, I'm going to chain two. One and two, and I will turn my work. And the chain two will count as the first double crochet of row three. So I will skip the first stitch here. And into the chain space here, I'm going to make the very first magnolia flower. And to do that, I'm going to start with making a puff stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the V stitch, pull up a loop. And I'm going to pull the loop a little bit long, like this. Then I'm going to yarn over again and insert my hook pull up a loop and pull it long. And one last time, yarn over and insert my hook and pull up a loop and pull it long. So I now have seven loops on the hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through six loops. And then I'm going to yarn over one last time and pull through the last two loops on the hook. Then I'm going to chain two, one and two. And then I will make one more puff stitch into the same chain space. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop and pull it long. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, and pull up a loop a third time. Then yarn over and pull through six loops. Yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. So here is my first little flower. 
and I will do the same thing into every chain space of the row. So yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop three times to make a puff stitch. Yarn over and pull through six loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And chain two. And again, yarn over and pull up a loop three times. Yarn over and pull through six loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And repeat into every chain space. And here at the end of the row, I'm going to skip the next stitch and here into the very last stitch, I'm going to make one double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And to start row four, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And row four is going to be a row of single crochet all the way across. So I'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. And I will make a single crochet into the next stitch. So into the puff stitch here, I'm going to insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. And into the chain space here, I am going to make two single crochet. So one single crochet and two. Again, I will make a single crochet into the next two stitches. So into the two puff stitches, one single crochet and into the chain space I will make two single crochet. And I will just continue this way all the way across the row. So one single crochet into every puff stitch and two single crochet into every chain space. And here at the end of the row, I'm going to make two single crochet into the chain space. And a single crochet into the puff stitch. And at last, a single crochet into the chain two from the previous row, which counts as a double crochet. And here at the end of row four, we should have a total of 98 single crochet. To start next row, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And for row five, I'm going to make one double crochet in the next six stitches. So yarn over and insert the hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops and again into the next five stitches. One, two, 
do three four and five. One, two, three, four, five, six, double crochet. And into the next stitch, I'm going to make an increase. So I'm going to make two double crochet into the same stitch. One. And two double crochet into the same stitch. And I will just repeat all the way across the row making an increase in every seventh stitch. So I will make one double crochet into the next six stitches. and an increase into the seventh stitch. So two double crochet into the same stitch. And repeat these last two steps all the way across the row. And into the very last stitch, I'm going to make two double crochet and I'm going to chain one and turn my work and row six is going to be a row of half double crochet V stitches all the way across so just like we did in row two I'm going to start with making a half double crochet into the first stitch Then I will skip the next stitch and into the next, I will make a half double crochet V stitch. So one half double crochet, chain two, and one half double crochet into the same stitch. And then skip the next two stitches and make another half double crochet V stitch into the third stitch. One half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet into the same stitch. And I will just repeat all the way across the row. Here at the end of the row, I only have four stitches left, so I'm going to skip the next two and make a half double crochet V stitch into the next stitch. And I will make one half double crochet into the very last stitch. And I should have a total of 37 half double crochet V stitches across the row. So make sure to count to see if they're all there. To start row seven, I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I will turn my work. And row seven is going to be a row of puff flower stitches, just like row three. And the chain two will count as the first double crochet of the row. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the V-stitch, pull up a loop and pull it a little bit long. Then yarn over again and insert and pull up a loop and pull it long. Yarn over and insert, pull up 
pull up a loop and pull it a little bit long. Then I will yarn over and pull through the six loops on the hook. Then yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. Then chain two, one and two, and make another puff stitch into the same chain space. And I will just continue to make a puff flower stitch into every one of the chain spaces all the way across the row. And here at the end of row 7, I'm going to skip the next stitch and into the very last stitch I'm going to make a double crochet. And I should now have 37 groups of puff flower stitches all the way across the row. To start the next row, I'm going to chain 1 and turn my work. And for row 8, I'm going to make a single crochet into the next stitch. And a single crochet into the next. And I will make two single crochet into the chain space here. Again, I'm going to make a single crochet into the next two stitches. So into the two puff stitches, I will make one single crochet. And into the chain space, I will again make two single crochet. And I will just continue in this way all the way across the row, making one single crochet into every puff stitch and two single crochet into every chain space. So here at the end of the row, I'm going to make a single crochet into the last puff stitch. And I will make a single crochet into the chain two here from the previous row that counts as a double crochet. And at the end of row eight, I should have a total of 150 single crochet. So to start row nine, I'm going to chain one and turn my work and for row nine I'm going to make one double crochet into the next nine stitches And into the next stitch, I will make an increase. So I will make two double crochet into the same stitch.
and I will just repeat these last two steps all the way across the row. So I will make an increase in every tenth stitch. First, I will make a double crochet into the next nine stitches. And two double crochet into the tenth stitch. And here at the end of the row, I'm just going to make two double crochet into the last stitch. And at the end of row nine, I should have a total of 165 double crochet. So to start row 10, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And for row 10, I'm going to make a single crochet into the next 10 stitches. And into the next stitch, I will make an increase. So I will make two single crochet into the next stitch. And I will just repeat these last two steps all the way across the row. So I will make an increase in every 11th stitch. And I'm just going to make two single crochet into the last stitch. And at the end of row 10, I will have 180 single crochet. So to start the next row, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. For row 11, I'm going to make one double crochet into the next 11 stitches. And into the next stitch, I will make an increase. So I will make two double crochet into the same stitch. And I will repeat these last two steps until I have 12 stitches left of the row. So I will make an increase in every 12th stitch until I have 12 stitches left. I now have six stitches left of the row, so I'm going to make a double crochet into every one of the last 12 stitches.
here at the end of row 11, I should have 194 stitches. And it's very important to just count to see if you have all 194 stitches. And from here, I am done with all of my increasing rows here in the bodice. So I'm now going to shape the cardigan and divide it up by the sleeves. So we're going to chain one and turn the work. So for row 12, I'm going to make a single crochet in the next 29 stitches. Then I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. And then I'm going to skip the next 38 stitches. So I'm just going to count 38 stitches and place my stitch marker. And I'm going to skip all of these stitches. So here into the 39th stitch, I will make a single crochet. And I will make a single crochet into the next 59 stitches. So 60 single crochet in total. Again, we will skip the next 38 stitches. So we will count 38 stitches and place a stitch marker. So I just placed my stitch marker here into the 38th stitch and I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. And I'm going to skip all the 38 stitches and here into the 39th stitch I'm going to make a single crochet and I will make a single crochet into the last 28 stitches. And now that I've skipped all of these stitches and I chained three in every armpit here in the cardigan, I now have 124 stitches. So to start the next row, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And for row 13, I am going to make a double crochet into every stitch. So into every 124 stitches. And to start row 14, I will again chain one and turn my work. And in row 14, I'm going to make one single crochet into every stitch across. So 124 single crochet. And at the end, I will chain one and turn my work. For row 15 to 37, I am just going to repeat row 13 and 14. 
So I will alternate between a row of double crochet and a row of single crochet. So row 15 is going to be a row of double crochet. And the rows of double crochet are always made on the right side of the cardigan and the rows of single crochet are always made on the back side. So now that I'm done with my 37th row, I'm going to chain one. And I'm now going to make a row of single crochet here in the edge of the cardigan. So into the side of my stitches here, I will make single crochets. And into the double crochets, I'm going to make two single crochet. And into the rows of single crochet, I will make one single crochet. So I'm going to make one single crochet into the edge and one more here. And here I have a row of single crochet so I'm just going to make one single crochet. And again into the side of the double crochet stitch I will make two single crochet. And one single crochet into the side of the row of single crochets. And I will just continue until I have reached the neckline here in my cardigan. At the end of the row, I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. And I will turn my work. For this row, I'm going to create the buttonholes in my cardigan. So I'm going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And I will make a single crochet into the next stitch. So here is my first buttonhole. And I will make a single crochet into the next seven stitches. So I now have eight single crochet and I'm going to chain two to make the next buttonhole. And I will skip two stitches and make a single crochet into the next stitch. And again I will make a single crochet into the next seven stitches. And I will just repeat that all the way down to the hem of my cardigan till I have a total of six buttonholes in my cardigan. So I will chain two and skip two stitches and make eight single crochet. And here at the end of the row, I'm just going to fasten off my yarn and tie a knot. And next, I'm going to attach my yarn again here in the opposite side of the opening in my cardigan. So I'm going to insert my hook here from the back side and pull my yarn through and tie a knot. 
And here I'm just going to make two rows of single crochet, just like I did before. Only I will not be making the buttonholes this time. And I will make another row of single crochet. And now I'm going to make a row of single crochet that goes all around the edges and the neckline and the hemline of my cardigan. So I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And here in the corners, I'm going to make two single crochet into every corner. And I will continue around the hemline. And when I reach the buttonholes here, I'm going to make two single crochets into every buttonhole. And I will continue around the neckline. And to fasten off, I'm just going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch here from the beginning. And I will fasten off my yarn. I will cut and tie a knot. And I am now ready to make the sleeves in my cardigan. So I'm going to find the middle chain here in the armpit where we chained three. And it's right here. And I'm going to pull my yarn through and tie a knot. So I'm going to start working the sleeves from the back side. I will then insert my hook into the stitch, pull up a loop and make one chain. And into the next chain, I'm going to make a single crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. And I will also make a single crochet into these next two stitches. And I will make a single crochet in every stitch around the sleeve. And at the end, I should have 44 stitches. And it's always a good idea to just count to see if you have all 44 stitches around. Here at the end, I'm going to join the row with a slip stitch into the first stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook and pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. And to start the next row, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. So now I'm working on the front side of my cardigan. And I'm going to make a row of double crochet all the way around. 
So I'm just going to continue the pattern that I used in the rest of the cardigan. A row of single crochet followed by a row of double crochet. So here I am at the end of the row. I have two stitches left and I'm just going to make a double crochet decrease. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, then yarn over again, insert my hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Then I will yarn over again, insert my hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. I now have three loops on the hook, so I'm going to yarn over one last time and pull through all three loops. And I will end my round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I'm going to chain one and turn my work to start the next row. And for the next row here, I am just going to make a single crochet into every stitch around. At the end of the row, I will again make a slip stitch into the first stitch. chain one and turn. And this next row is just going to be a repeat of row two. So I'm going to make a double crochet into every stitch around until I have two stitches left of the row. And I will then make a double crochet decrease. Here I am at the end of the round, so I will make an increase. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over again, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. I have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And I will join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will chain one and turn. And row five to row eight is just going to be a repeat of the last two rows. So I will have a total of four increases in the sleeve and I will end up with 40 stitches around. So now that I have made four increases in my sleeve, I am going to make the sleeve straight from here. So I will just make a row of single crochet all the way around, followed by a round of double crochet all the way around, all the way to the end. I have now made 27 rounds in my sleeve and round 28 is going to be made a little bit differently. First, I'm going to make a double crochet into the first stitch. And then I'm going to make a double crochet decrease. So I will yarn over and insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, then yarn over again, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. I have three loops on the hook. I will yarn over and pull through all three loops. And I will just repeat those last two steps all the way around the sleeve. So in the next stitch, I will make a double crochet and into the next two, I'm going to make a double crochet decrease. And I will end the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will chain one. And for round 29, 
I am just going to make a single crochet into every stitch around. So there we go, my sleeve is now all done and I will just have to make the sleeve on the other side in exactly the same way. Now that I have made both of my sleeves, I am going to sew in the buttons here in the front of my cardigan. And I just washed and ironed my cardigan to straighten it out a little bit. I always recommend that you do that before you sew in your buttons. And I'm just going to split my thread here in half. And I will attach my needle to the thread and place my button here in the top and insert my needle from the back side. And sew it in place. And I will tie a knot here on the back side of my work. And to sew in the next button, I'm not going to fasten off my yarn, I'm just going to insert my needle into the stitches all the way down to where I want to place the next button. And I will come out here to the other side, like so. And I will place the next button right out in front of the second buttonhole. And I will just continue this way all the way down to the edge of the cardigan till I have placed all of my buttons. And I will weave in the yarn ends very thoroughly. And there we go, we're all done making this beautiful Magnolia baby cardigan. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, make sure to give it a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see a lot more of these crocheting videos. Have a really wonderful day. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.